Welcome to the woodshed, folks. We're here on a Friday night with a nice hot fire and some beers we tried. Got a little bit of color in the fire. There's some nice blue and green going on back there in the background. If you can see it, I hope you can. Pretty blue, purplish color with some green in the flames. So that's a very nice color scheme. We got hot wood burning. We got some new beers tonight. We're going to talk about some IPA we tried new. And we also got a raspberry lemonade type beer. And my label on it seems to be melting. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get to it real quick before it melts. I got to put the flash on. And show you right here. We got a Steel Hands Raspberry Lemonade Ale. It's got 4.5 ABV, made by Steel Hands Brewery in Casey, South Carolina. It's probably a little on the more of a summer beer in my opinion to drink while you're sitting by the pool more more so than in any other time oh we got some nice color going on so i want to go ahead and get that done before we get a little meltage going on because you can see here by the can the label seems to be melting off of it pretty quick because that fire is pretty warm pretty hot it's burning hot we also got a natural standby of uh, Sam Adams IPA, which is just a, one of the normal beers that we really love here, sitting here on the Junior and Mr. J show here. We like the Sam Adams IPA. It's one of my top favorite five IPAs, beers in general. We got a lot of color going on back there. I gotta go ahead and show you that before it gets too far into this. I hope you can see that out there. Nice color. And of course we had a little bottle beer, brown ale, Warsteiner Dunkel, roasted barley malt, pretty good beer. And a newbie tonight. This is a newbie try for the night. I mean, seriously folks, this is a newbie. This is a super soft IPA made out of Sloop Brewery out of New York City. New York. First time I've ever tried that beer. Tonight is my very first taste of that beer. I'm not going to say it's one of my top favorites in my top five by no means. Maybe a top 10, maybe a top 15. It's got 6% ABV. And I think it could probably use a little bit more hoppier taste, but I'm not going to knock it. I seriously think it was a pretty good IPA. Wow, we got some purple back there. That's the first time I've seen some purple. If you can see that back there, see that right there? That is purple. We got purple fire burning back there. Very purple in color and a little bit of blue back there, but not so much blue and a little bit tiny green, but more so purple. There's like a lot of purple right there. I'm zooming in on it. If you can see it, I hope you can out there, but very nice little fire for a Friday night. I had a long work week. I'm glad the work week's over because I'm ready to talk about beer, talk about the fire. You know, we just talked about the beers. And because we did talk about the beers and the fire, I'm going to turn the flash back off. Maybe the fire will look a little better without the flash. Let's just see what them colors look like without the flash turned on because they might look a little better. And I see some nice blue, green, 
purple nice little colors in there on that little scheme and it's hard to tell in the color but or in the but the, the label kind of burn off of that one little beer right there and i just want to go ahead and say that i'm glad we got that beer discussion over with but i will tell you this folks all four beers that are sitting right there very nice beers to taste on your palate so i highly recommend you try any one of them four beers if you have the opportunity and man we got some real nice color over there in the fire i mean really nice color blue purple green very very nice i might just have to get rid of some of these beer bottles here and beer cans just so we can see the fire a little bit better there we go now maybe we can see a little better on the fire with some color schemes going on there so like i said earlier it's a friday night we done drank a bunch of beers got a super hot fire going it's a little chilly tonight probably in the 40s it ain't super cold but it ain't super warm got a little heat from the fire got a nice blue color going on right there got a nice little zoom in there for you i hope y'all can see that out there purple nice purple color and probably don't show up in the video real good compared to the live version got a little green in the background going on but ultimately it's a pretty good fire today was one of those days that i just kind of wanted to get it over with and get out of work and get home relax Being a redneck investor like I am, looked at the stock market today. It's stock market's been crazy as of late. We've had some good days and we've had some bad days. Ultimately, I think we've had a little more good days than bad days. A lot of mix between green and red out there. If y'all know what I'm talking about. If you invest in stocks or anything in the stock market, this is like one of those times where depending on what you're investing in the market, you can either be making money or you could be losing. Look at that blue color in that fire. That is one, this is one of the most colorful fires I've had in a while. And I'm not gonna lie to you folks, because I've had a lot of fires with color in and some of them weren't as good. So this is one of the top better fires that I've had going on here on the Red Neck Woodshed fire scenery. But let's get back to this stock market thing. If you can read the stock market and really put some money in there, I think you can make some money today i looked at my stock portfolio and this redneck over here I, I i was up a little bit today i ain't gonna sugarcoat it i had a little bit of a gain overall but i'm very 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 well diversified in my portfolio i don't have anything out there in something that's gonna cause a problem I keep all my investments well diversified between emerging markets, financials, and all the stuff in between. This really, really, really isn't supposed to be a stock market video by no means, so we're not going to go into details about my stock market portfolio, but in general, what I just want to say is, since the day I opened my stock market portfolio, which only not too long ago, I've been riding that little roller coaster 
up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But the problem, the not a problem, it's not a problem. It's the way of the stock market. It's been a slow gain upward. And I'm going to say I'm probably up 30 or 40 percent on my money. And this is no lie, folks. 30 to 40 percent of the money I invested nine, ten months ago till today, I'm up. Seriously. So. If you don't know a lot about it, you need to do your due diligence and do a little research and understand how it works. If you put money in the stock market, there's money to be made, let me tell you. Because I put some money in it, and I've made some money. And don't get me wrong, I've lost some money, too. But I've also I've made more than I've lost. So, ultimately... If you pick the right stuff, do your homework, and study stuff, you have the potential to make out way better than losing out. So, my recommendation is do some studies, homework, relax, and you got to have a lot of patience. It's kind of relaxing to watch fire with the color in it and that's the way we roll so if you stuck around this long and listen to these beer reviews and stock reviews and fire reviews and the whole nine yards listen folks hit that like button and hit that subscribe button smash it and the more you do it the more we're going to get popular and the more we're going to be able to promote some more videos. So, I appreciate all of y'all's support out there and I hope y'all have a great weekend and we'll get back to this video beer stuff tomorrow night. This here's the Redneck Woodshed. Signing off.